Did you know that species are going extinct alarmingly faster now than at any point in modern history? What animals do you know that have gone extinct recently? Please tell us in the comment section. According to the UN Environment Programme, planet Earth is entering its sixth mass extinction. This could cause catastrophic consequences for people as we'll be faced with less food source and fresh water and our ecosystems will be more vulnerable to disasters and disease. Did I mention that 1 million species are threatened with extinction as of now? Extinctions do occur naturally. However, human impact has greatly accelerated this phenomenon. So, let's find out some of the beautiful creatures that have gone extinct in recent history. Don't you think that it's worth learning about and remembering them? Let's start with passenger pigeons. According to the Smithsonian Museum, it's estimated that there were 3 to 5 billion passenger pigeons at the time Europeans discovered America. 3 to 5 billion! But with the combination of overhunting, habitat destruction, and disease, they went extinct very rapidly. Advances in hunting technology allowed hunters to take large numbers of these birds. The passenger pigeon's habitat was also quickly disappearing in the late 1800s due to deforestation and urbanization. There was a rapid decline of the passenger pigeon population until there were so few remaining birds that they were no longer able to reproduce effectively. The last known passenger pigeon, a female named Martha, died in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914, marking the extinction of the species. Thylacine, aka Tasmanian Tiger Thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian Tiger, is an extinct carnivorous marsupial that was native to mainland Australia and the island of Tasmania. When European settlers came to Australia, thylacine was hunted mercilessly for its fur and for the farmers to protect their livestock. The continuous ruthless hunting played a massive role in the reduction of its population. Introduction of dogs added to the death of these creatures as dogs would kill them. As the settlers cleared land for agriculture and development, thylacine's habitat was destroyed depriving them of food and shelter. The last known thylacine, Benjamin, died in captivity in 1936. What's so sad is that just 59 days before the death of Benjamin, the species was finally granted protective status. A little too late for that, don't you think? Pinta Island Tortoise the last remaining Pinta Island tortoise, nicknamed Lonesome George, died in captivity in 2012, marking the extinction of the species. He was more than a hundred years old at the time of his death. Pinta tortoises were overexploited by whalers and fishermen and were hunted for their meat and eggs. They were also threatened by the introduction of invasive species. Fishermen released a few goats on the island which exploded in population very quickly, taking over the vegetation on the island. As you can imagine, all of these factors doomed the tortoise's future until there was none left. Outside the enclosure of Lonesome George at Charles Darwin Research Station, you can find these words on the information panel which I thought would be worth mentioning in this video. Whatever happens to this single animal, let him always remind us that the fate of all living things on earth is in human hands. Deep, isn't it? Baiji River Dolphin According to Whale and Dolphin Conservation, Baiji River Dolphins lived in the Yangtze River in China for 20 million years. Yet, it took less than 50 years for humans to wipe them out and the species was declared extinct in 2007. Surprise, surprise! The rapid development of the Yangtze River meant that their habitat was getting destroyed at an unprecedented rate. Baiji River dolphins relied heavily on echolocation to find their way around the river and connecting lakes. 
but the busy rivers and noisy boats and ships made it very difficult for them to move around and find food. They were also threatened by all the fishing gears like hooks and nets that entangled them, which caused so many deaths. The final nail in the coffin was the construction of the Three Gorges Dam. This mega hydroelectric dam was a death sentence for so many animals and plant species as it altered the entire ecosystems, causing other serious environmental problems. West African Black Rhino West African black rhinos have also gone extinct mainly because of human activity. Many people, especially in Asia, believed that their horns had medicinal value, and this led to extreme poaching. This belief is not even backed up by any scientific research, just so you know. As the number of rhinos declined, unfortunately, the value of their horns increased even more. Farmers also killed off many of them to defend their crops near the rhino territories. The human settlements, agriculture, and widespread poaching are all responsible for the decline in the number of West African black rhinos. There was one confirmed sighting in Cameroon in 2006, but that was the last, and this beautiful creature was officially declared extinct in 2011. Japanese River Otter in the past, there were thousands of Japanese river otters across Japan. However, there are none left in the world anymore and were declared extinct in 2012. Japan's rapid industrialization during the 20th century led to severe water pollution, which not only affected the otter's health, but their primary food source. Hunting was also a major factor in the extinction of the species. Otters were prized for their fur and were hunted extensively throughout the country for trade and traditional medicine. Why do people keep thinking that they have to consume these animals to cure their problems? These otters are now extinct, but conservationists continue to work towards the reintroduction of similar species. Why? To restore balance to the affected ecosystems, of course. Bramble K. Malomis the Bramble K. Malomis is the first animal that has become extinct because of climate change. They were a small rodent species that lived on a tiny island in the northern Great Barrier Reef in Australia. The rising sea levels led to significant erosion and saltwater intrusion destroyed their food source and their home. When people introduced cats on the island, that was the end for the little rodents. The feline hunters helped themselves to rodent dinners. Their environment became too harsh, and once their population diminished greatly, it became very difficult to repopulate. The Australian government officially declared the species extinct in 2019. Saudi Gazelle Believe it or not, the Saudi Gazelle once roamed throughout the Arabian Peninsula. But due to urbanization, agriculture, and excessive hunting, their population began to decline until they were all gone. The species was prized for its meat and trophies, and despite hunting restriction and protection, illegal hunting continued on. Saudi gazelle was officially declared extinct in 2008. There are a number of gazelle species that are currently endangered, and vulnerable, and they could all end up just like the Saudi gazelle. Humans, let's do better. Caribbean Monk Seal The Caribbean Monk Seals peacefully lived in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico, with the only predator being sharks. According to history, Christopher Columbus and his men discovered the island where they spotted the seals and killed off many. Humans began to hunt them for meat, but mainly for their blubber, which was used for lamp oil, lubrication, and even as a coating for the bottom of boats. The species was also prized for its skin and fur, and commercial hunting began which quickly dwindled their population. Unfortunately, they did not receive protection from hunting until 1967, but by then, it was too late to repopulate the species despite conservation measures. 
In 2008, the species were officially declared extinct. Within 400 years of human discovery, they were wiped out. Just for your information, Japanese sea lions were also declared extinct recently, and there are several other seals that are on the brink of extinction as of today. Chinese Paddlefish The Chinese paddlefish were known to be one of the largest freshwater fish in the world. They were easily bigger than a giraffe reaching up to 23 feet in length. This magnificent fish was once a prominent species in the Yangtze River in China. But again, due to human activities, they are no longer with us. Chinese paddlefish were commercially valuable for their meat and their roe, which is another word for eggs, and were heavily overfished. As many areas along the Yangtze River were industrialized, the pollution impacted the river's ecosystem and the fish's food sources. The final bang that doomed the species was the construction of the Gejova Dam. This dam cut the paddlefish's migration route that resulted in the loss of this majestic species. They were officially declared extinct in 2022. There we are! We've covered the just 10 species that went extinct in recent years, but it's important to say that there are many other species that weren't even included in this video. It's easy to say that human activities directly affect the extinction of animals. We destroy their habitat, exploit them with excessive hunting and overfishing, introduce invasive species, and cause pollution that messes with the whole ecosystem. So why should we care? It's crucial for animals not to go extinct, as they play an important role in maintaining a balanced ecosystem on our planet. Each species contributes to their ecosystem by controlling populations of other species or assisting in pollination. When a species is lost, it can cause a chain reaction that could be detrimental to the entire ecosystem. And without healthy forests, soil, rivers, and oceans, we will also cease to exist. The survival of animal species is so important to maintain the balance of our planet's biodiversity. So what can you do to protect them? Tell us in the comment section.